this one is um, located in a, an existing temple. You can still see quite a lot of um, archaeology still here. You can see the, the classic fish pond. itself. If anyone's wondering where those holes are, that's how they used to lift them and work the stone and get them into place. These poles in there, that's how they used to get them to move. There we go. I'll come back out so you can see the magnitude of this structure. Beautiful. And again, as for many of these in South East Asia, you're very lucky, you can actually physically get into them and actually have a look around. Oh, beautiful. Uh, this normally would be a guardhouse, because a lot of these we use as like sanctuaries for people who are on uh, religious pilgrimages. So they were, they were guarded by soldiers because again there was a lot of warring factions, a lot of warring tribes. Statue plinth. And then you come through into the actual area where during the day or during the time there would be lots of little wooden buildings where people would have been um, camped out, staying over for their pilgrimage. And the building you got the centre there, that would have been the temple where they could have um, uh, paid homage to their the Hindu gods. The walls would have been much much higher again so it would have protected the people, the occupants within this within this prasat. You normally have an entrance to the rear too but it looks like this one hasn't got one but either it hasn't got one or it's been reconst reconstructed in a slightly different way. Normally the, the front and the rear are virtually identical, so you can get in from both ends. That's the uh, religious part of the Prasat. By the look of it, there's been a lot of rocks here, but um, they're not in situ. They're not where they used to be. For example, here, if you look at this one here, obviously that's a lintel. And that's just put on top of the walls. So whether the reconstruction was done by the monks at some point, and it's just basically a, a botch of stone put back on top of the lignite rocks. I don't know, but that's what it looks like to me. This looks like structural material, not warm material. But end of the day, it's still here. Hopefully in the future, you'll get some talented archeologists who'll be able to re put this thing back to what it used to be. A good example here, look, you can see there that piece of uh, masonry does not go there. Still fascinating right? and hopefully you can enjoy some of it with me. One thing I will say about just being in here, it's incredibly cool, it's really cool in here. Boiling outside but in here is really nice and cool. So they got their building right didn't they?